Welcome to Korea. This is my home. We are in Gurisi in South Korea. Today we are going to be taking a look at the issue of electrical pollution in Korea. Now electrical pollution is all around us. It's in our home, our air, our water. It's there when we go to work. It's there when we wake up in the morning. It's caused by high electrical radio frequencies set onto the power lines by electronic equipment. Our power lines are not designed to handle these high electrical radio frequencies and as a result these radio frequencies leak into our environment and cause health problems known as electrical hypersensitivity. So today I thought I'd go around South Korea and take my trusty meter here which detects how many radio frequencies are on the power line and see what kind of dirty electricity levels we're being exposed to. So follow me. We are here at the Guangnara subway station. This is the stop I usually get off at to take the subway into Kurso. Over 6.9 million people use the subway per day. 6.9 million. That's a lot. Now this is the GS meter. It detects the amount of radio frequencies per second running on the power lines. Now imagine you're being hit by an invisible hand. One, two, three. Alright, it's kind of so so, but imagine you're being hit by 900 Ow. invisible hands. It hurts. This detects those invisible hands, or invisible frequencies, as they're called. So, it is about 600 to about around 1,000 GS units. So we're being hit by this many frequencies per second in the subway station. Now these radio frequencies are caused by electronic equipment that sends pulses onto the power lines. Our electronic equipment is designed to be energy efficient, so instead of a continuous energy flow like this, like this, it's energy goes in and then pulses out. This is called dirty electricity. And our power lines are not designed to handle it. And as a result, it leaks into our environment. So, the safe limit suggested by Professor Magda Havis and others is 30. 30. This is not safe. So what needs to be done is filters need to be installed in the power lines and in people's homes to help reduce this... Whoa! There was a big spike here. Dirty electricity. And that might actually be because the subway is about to come. So we're going to right now take this meter and take some detections, some uh, detections of other subway stations here in So. Follow me. Whoa! It's even higher than it's, e it's even higher than uh, Guangnaro, where we were just at. It's about 1,700, 1,600 to um, around 1,800. Yeesh, that's a lot. Ah, let's get going.
We are here at Dongdae Moon History and Culture Park Station, Line 4 platform. The readings here are 1,500 to over 1,600 GS units. Still not safe. Let's go take some readings at other subway stations. Greetings coming from this thing. Hello, we are here at Hongdae University. Hongdae University is a popular tourist destination for many foreigners. The radiation levels here are 1,700 to over 1,800 GS units. Still not safe. This is also the area where you can buy filters. In this area is located the office of Stetzer Korea, which we are going to go visit. So follow me. Stetzer Korea office. Here is all the equipment you can use to help reduce your exposure to dirty electricity. Now dirty electricity is what's on the power lines. This is a 60 hertz sound wave. Okay? This is what's on your electrical wires. Now also riding on these electrical wires are what we call dirty electricity. Now this dirty electricity is sent onto your wires by electronic equipment. Now here is the 60 hertz or this is the normal voltage and this is the dirty electricity running on the power lines. Now if we, here we have a fluorescent light. If we turn the fluorescent light on, which is here, ah, look it, it goes out. One more time, on. Off, on, off, on, off, on. So that's a lot of dirty electricity. Uh, this is the amount of amps in my body. So this is just what I'm absorbing from the fluorescent lights above here. All right, fluorescent lights off. Look at it go down. Now, see I'm going to touch it and watch it go up. See? I'm really getting hit with lots of amps right now. And now I'm just being hit by this and I'm still not too far. Now we have TV, an LD TV. Let's see. Let's watch. Oh, look at it go up again. And then once again, let's look over here. Here's how, how high this is. Now, we're going to turn on the fluorescent lights. Watch it go up. See, the power cord's right here. And the light's over here. Even being quite far away, but still, still connected by wires, it goes up. And then, let's install some filters to plug in. And the dirty electricity goes down much more. It's still not in the safe limit, and it's actually still pretty high. So let's do two filters. No? Ah, let's do it over here. There, much better. So, yeah. So it's important to uh, reduce your um, dirty electricity. Now, dirty electricity is known to cause various health problems headaches, nausea, flu-like symptoms. If you search on the internet, uh, electrical hypersensitivity, you can find the total list. It's a couple pages long of all the ailments that many people 
who have sensitivity uh, to dirty electricity feel. Now, dirty electricity affects different people different ways. Some people have problems like multiple sclerosis. Uh, Dr. Magna Havis has done some studies with uh, people with multiple sclerosis and she took footage before and after the filters were installed. So before they're like waddling, waddling, and then she put filters in and then they could walk normally. And she had one study where there was one man who put the filters in and he had progressive multiple sclerosis, which meant his condition was going to get worse. And he put the filters in and he got much better. But then he went to a grocery store and he started feeling his symptoms again. And he saw realize that when he goes to a, a dirty environment he'll experience symptoms versus when he's in a clean environment without dirty electricity his symptoms are not there. So this is a very important emerging issue. Laced across Korea are cell phone towers. Cell phone towers like these dot the landscape. You can find them anywhere, on buildings, schools, churches, convenience stores, everywhere. Cell phone towers like this increase the amount of dirty electricity in the area. If you live within a cell phone tower, your chances of having electrical hypersensitivity increase. So these are really not a good thing to be living nearby. Okay, we just spent the whole day looking at the issue of electrical pollution here in South Korea. Electrical pollution, it's all around us. It's in our homes, our air, our water. It affects all of us. We cannot really avoid exposure to dirty electricity in our environment. So what we need to do is install filters like these. These filters will help reduce the dirty electricity in your home and improve your health. The other thing you can do is urge your government to create regulation that forces electronic companies to install filters into their electronic equipment so there's no more dirty electricity going on to the power lines. So it's up to you to make a difference. So call now. Take action.